Pfizer says its COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective for kids ages 5 through 11, and it plans to ask the FDA for approval. So let's bring in our chief health editor now, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, Pfizer says their vaccine generated a robust antibody response in the participants. What does all this mean? Yeah, so some good news to share, Brian. I'm always excited to do that, and it directly affects me and my family since three of my kids are not vaccinated. You know, they're they're less than 12, and and right now only 12 and up, as you know, are authorized to get uh, Pfizer's COVID vaccine. Could change very soon. Here are the details, by the way. Pfizer's data from their clinical trials included just over 2,200 participants of kids aged five through 11. The dosage administered was one third the strength of what we use for kids. 12 and up, that's important. So instead of a 30 microgram dose, it was a 10 microgram dose. These children were still given two doses, three weeks apart, and here's what the research found. One month after the second dose, good news, the vaccine generated a strong immune response, meaning that it created coronavirus fighting, neutralizing antibodies, and the levels matched what Pfizer had seen in teenagers and young adults. So uh, that's really good news. And the safety profile, very importantly, was very similar as well. Well, speaking of safety, what about side effects? And also, why did Pfizer look at neutralizing antibodies versus comparing the number of COVID cases in the kids who are vaccinated versus not vaccinated? To your first question, right, there have been really no confirmed cases of myocarditis, which is the the, the side effect a lot of people are concerned about. And that means inflammation of the, of the heart muscle. And the vaccine was very well tolerated with less fever and chills compared to trial participants age 16 to 25. Remember, it was only one third the dose. Other temporary side effects included sore arms, which we saw before near the injection site, and also achiness. As for COVID cases, Pfizer's clinical trial was not designed to compare the number of cases in the vaccine group versus the placebo group. However, the company did say there, have been enough, there haven't been enough infections anyway, so they can't even compare groups that, of course, could change down the road as the study is ongoing. All right, so potentially the, the biggest question, what happens next? Is the takeaway that the vaccine for kids 5 to 11 years old could be ready sooner than expected now? I'm hoping so. You know, Brian, it's possible that, the, that Pfizer could, could file sooner for the emergency use authorization since the data has come earlier than expected, right? So uh, and if, if that's the case, it's also possible we could have a vaccine for this younger age group by Halloween. Of course, this would all depend on the FDA and the CDC. The FDA has said very, 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 very clearly that, that, that they would do its best to review the data as thoroughly and as quickly as possible. Uh, it could take uh, four weeks to six weeks to comb through the research. So we don't know exactly when, but it's, it's coming up. The good news is that the data came in early and it, and, and it looks really good. All right, Dr. Nandy, as always, grateful for your time and expertise. Thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Glenda.